So here's the situation. Um, I want to roller skate. When I was in eighth grade, I was gifted a pair of roller skates and I have not utilized them to the full extent that they could be used. I reached my breaking point yesterday when I watched a video on Twitter of this girl. You've probably seen it. If you're on the internet, you've probably seen it. And I looked at that video, I realized that I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I, I could be living a teen indie movie and I'm not! I decided right then and there, I'm going to And so the research began. I had a pretty good idea of how to move forward in roller skates. It felt pretty similar to ice skating. But going backwards was another battle entirely. There were a lot of websites to choose from, but I needed a visual example. The first thing that came up was a quick Howcast video. It was pretty informative, giving me an idea of the basic tips. Look forward, toes together, tight core, and the biggest note to start by stepping backwards. Easy, right? Okay, maybe not. Oh, so roller skating backwards. Not super easy. Um, the thing I'm having the hardest time with is just going smoothly. The first few days were pretty slow, but to help myself go more smoothly, I started by practicing skating forward, then switching directions to walk backwards. Looking back at footage also helped. Good morning. <laughs> so I'm looking back at the videos of me roller skating and I'm realizing that I am stepping too much backwards and I am looking down too much. I don't think I'm bringing my toes in close enough every time. I tried skating in different locations, between the neighborhood basketball court, parking lots, elementary school playground, and middle school tennis courts. There wasn't a perfect spot. I also tried a water park, but we'll get to that later. So today's day four, and I'm definitely feeling like I'm seeing a lot of progress today. The setting definitely makes it easier, but the heat doesn't help. But good things are happening! And I need to learn how to scissor which is, one lady said, butt to gut. Down with the butt, up with the gut, is how she described it. And it's basically doing the thing I'm doing, but both feet at the same time to go backwards. I can't do that very well. Mm. So it's like this, butt to gut. That's, I can't do it though, but then you're supposed to like keep going. I really did try to learn how to do the scissors, but it just didn't work out. Today I'd like to have a nice sit down chat about the things I learned while roller skating. So today marks exactly one week from when I started roller skating. Um, and needless to say, it was a success. Thank you. Now, before I go out on my celebratory roller skating trip today, I just wanted to sit down and do a little quick review. So I um, wrote this down so I wouldn't forget. Lesson number one is that all the tips I mentioned in the beginning of the video are extremely important. Keeping your toes together, your chest tight, and your whole body just angled forward in general is gonna help you transition from just walking backwards to gliding backwards. I'm still trying to get this down. A thing I learned, number two, I am not very good at not taking baby steps. You could probably see in a lot of the clips that I put in this video that my toes don't come together very close like they should. They should. Okay, I'm done with this. I actually only wrote down two things. Yes. Thing number three is you'll make a lot more progress if you're not afraid. So on day five, I had a really big fall. And consequently, I was really afraid of falling on day six. That was yesterday. So my day five roller skating was a lot smoother than it was on day six. 
What can I do to not be afraid? Um, I can get padding. I can get knee pads, elbow pads, and I can wear a helmet. That's important. I probably should have done that. Or you can stop being a big baby. Lesson number four is don't give up when you get frustrated and you'll need to spend a lot of time practicing. I guess that's two things. So every day I spent about an hour, but usually more roller skating, which sounds like a big commitment, but if you compare that to how much time you spend on your phone, maybe not. If it's easier, commit to a time that works for you and just go out every day and go roller skating. You might run into problems like I did. It, it rained one day for me. It just started raining, we gotta go. But if you can, make the time. And don't leave, don't give up when you get frustrated. On the first day, it's going to be the hardest. Um, I was very frustrated. I thought it would be so much easier because the girls in the video that I was watching just did it so well. And I thought it was gonna be like that for me. It's not. But keep showing up every day and don't stop when you're tired or when you're frustrated. So those are my wise words. Um, if you think I'm wise, give me a, a thumbs up, I guess. And now we're gonna go out and um, rejoice in day seven of roller skating. This is gonna be a continuous journey because life is a continuous journey. Until next time, bon voyage.